look at this. Hopefully, since I really don't know yet, if any of these videos are coming out. But now we're on number four, so I'm trying. I need to get some more tea. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I got this cute little teapot because it's so cold in my basement um, that I wanted something warm. I have a little heater that's coming to keep that warm, though, so excuse me. Because I am filming all of these back to back to back. Okay, so I found these wonderful artists and suppliers. Two Sisters Jam, Stacy and Dana. They are wonderful. They are such a kick. You gotta watch their YouTube videos. They are hilarious. Um, they have such a fun Facebook group. Um, so go over to them. So it's called Two Sister Jam. You can find them also um, on Etsy. And I did get a little package from them. <clears throat> Excuse me. I definitely plan on getting more from them. Um, but they are just a lot of fun and they just have these wonderful packages. So of course some little laces, vintage um, postcards, uh, some of these vintage um, book pages, another library card. Remember these? I miss the days of the library. This is from 1987, three years after I graduated. Oh, just dated myself. So we have vintage patterns, and then look at these. These are war ration books. Are these not fantastic? Oh my goodness. They are super reasonable. They put together wonderful packages. These are some um, vintage music pages. Oh, I love it, girls. I love it. You guys are so much fun. And more, and more, and more. Now. I am pretty sure I cheated them. I literally, oh no, I didn't. But I thought I had gotten something else. But even if not, I'm telling you, go over to their Facebook group, go over to their Etsy shop. Again, two sisters, Stacy and Dana, they have the most wonderful things. And again, their Facebook group is a lot of fun. All sorts of challenges. One of these days, I will be home long enough to actually participate. So girls, there's my shout out. I love you. And then this is my final one. Um, this is from one of the administrators over at Boho Daydreams. Her name is Andrea. And she puts together, you have to catch her on Boho Daydreams. So just make sure you go over there on Facebook, answer all the questions, um, and get a part. It's literally the group that um, got me started in junk journaling and I found the most incredible people. Like everybody's an artist over there, but it just is filled with the most loving, kind, wonderful, uplifting, encouraging, inspiring people. And Andrea is one of those. And every now and then she will pop on uh, Facebook and she will have these bundles and they are amazing. So if you see her little bundles pop up, they go very quickly. Um, and so I would just tell you, snag it up as quick as you can. I actually got a couple of these. Um, this is one I had not opened because I thought, and it comes very beautifully done. Um, but I had kind of tore apart the other one and I actually used it. Yay! I was so proud of myself. And so here we go. We got some vintage postcards. These just make the most wonderful things when you are putting together a journal and you're wanting to put in some... Um, vintage ephemera and it's just so cool I just love it the packages I got from her came with all of these vintage um, letters now the one that I had actually done I didn't even realize this because I was I had made a um, traveler's journal for a wonderful a young lady that was sent my way and I did it really quickly for her because it was before Christmas and I really haven't had a lot of time down here um, and the letters weren't even opened so it was just a wonderful deal so I didn't even get to read them I don't know what's going on but these are wonderful letters from the 50s that I got from her I just I love it because they just make such a wonderful addition these are from 1948 they're just fantastic love them love them so there's like a whole stack of letters and I mean, you could dismantle them, um, 
you can make collages and all that. I probably won't because I like the fact that they're in there and I think it's a wonderful piece of history. And then look at these wonderful bank checks. Some of these are going to obviously go into my Marie Antoinette, but they're just wonderful. So hard to find, at least where I'm at. And they are just so beautiful. And then she puts it together on this wonderful cardboard that you can reuse. And so, Andrea, thank you. And by the way, she was my secret sister. And I just want you to know that I loved your gift. And it was such a wonderful Merry Christmas. All right, guys. So, hopefully the next time you see me, I will actually at least uh, be able to see what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know that it's going to help. I don't know that it's going to improve anything right away. But hey, if you come along, then we will figure it out together. Or at least you get to see me stumble through it. Um, so I will be starting up again, um, remaking journals. I haven't decided if I'm going to start a new one. Like I said, right over where I can see and you cannot are five different journals going. Um, and so I really should finish those up. I am actually pretty good about never having a lot of stuff sitting out. I usually always finish my packaging and my projects that I start. Um, but I'm thinking I just need a couple of more days to get back into the groove of it. I changed my desk and everything so I wouldn't have so much clutter. Um, that was a great advice from my friend Susie. And so I'm not sure I can operate. So I'm such a clean desk. I don't know what to do. And I literally don't even remember where everything's at. So I am hoping to start filming after I go have a little visit with AT&T and they show me how to do it. Um, so thank you guys. Thank you for your patience with me. And I hope you all have a fabulous day. Mwah!